Well, welcome to Wild Goose Adventures. The Great Sandy Straits runs for 70 kilometres between Tinkham Bay in the south and Harvey Bay in the north and is a stretch of water that separates Fraser Island from the mainland. There's plenty of great anchorages, so I thought we might sheet on and go and check out all things great in the Great Sandy Straits. So what does make a good anchorage, certainly protection from the wind and the waves is important, also it's holding and whether it's going to be able to be good and secure for your anchor and even a blow. I've based myself here in river heads for the last little while while I've gone off and doing, been doing other things as well. The reason being is that there's lots of supplies here, it's very accessible, there's an IGA, there's a coffee shop, so we can have a coffee, there's a medical centre if you'd need it and a pharmacy and it's just really handy. River Heads has all of the nice protection that you'd want in an anchorage. The only thing that it traditionally never had was good accessibility once you come ashore. The only thing that you had was the rocks and this ramp and with the tide and the ramp the way it was it just wasn't conducive to leaving your dinghy here for any time and coming ashore. So as a result us cruisers have given it a wide berth. We might use it if we're crossing over to go up to Maryborough or desperate if there's a cyclone or some really strong winds, especially from the west. Just recently this pontoon was put in which has been a godsend. Really it's there to help people launch and retrieve their dinghies but as a cruiser I've been able to just lock up the dinghy on the inside of the pontoon. It's been safe, it's been really good. And when it was first put in there was these battles that went on between the fishermen and the boaties that wanted to use this area to be able to launch and retrieve. It was deemed that the boaties had right of way and so these signs here were erected that gave way. It's made it really usable and really manageable to be able to come in, tie up the dinghy and go off and head up and do your provisioning and do what you need to do. favourite lines about the Great Sandy Straits is that there's two types of people. There's the ones who have run aground and liars. The Great Sandy Straits is notorious for those sandbars and getting them through them can prove a challenge to even the most seasoned sailor. Certainly having left river heads, my next anchorage here is Big Woody Island. Now Big Woody Island, unlike its famous cousin across the channel, almost has no sand. It's full of rocks and as the name suggests is full of wood. Probably doesn't have the same glamour as Fraser Island. It's probably the only place where it has protected anchorages in northerlies and particularly westerlies. I'm down here in the very southern corner just tucked away nicely out of the breeze. It really is a pleasant place and once you get to know it a little bit it's, uh, it's definitely worth coming by and having a look. Getting here you sail around all of the sandbars, you've got a few islands, there's a fish habitat on Duck Island and then there's a couple of other little reefs and ribbons that you need to be able to negotiate to get here. It's a fairly narrow entrance into this southern end but once you get through it opens up because it's not as pretty you tend to have it to yourself not as many people stay here unless the conditions mean that this is the only other spot to come so if you're looking for a bit of privacy and a nice little spot on your own 
This bottom end of Big Woody Island is a top spot. Well, one of the great things to do when you're at Big Woody Island is to go and climb up to the lighthouse. Of course, probably like everybody else, I love a lighthouse and it's always fun to come up. It's a fairly short walk, it's a little bit steep but it's totally manageable and if you start getting out of breath, remember that it was when it was first built in 1886 and for nearly a hundred years people walked everything up here to get their supplies. There was a lighthouse keeper that lived in a house that was just built beside here that's been long gone. It wasn't till very late in the 20th century when people started to use oxen and they had a little tractor to bring things up to get up to the house up here. So it's a beautiful walk, perfect spot for a catch a sunrise looking over Fraser Island. The lighthouse was built in 1886 and commissioned in 1887. In around 1945 they changed it to a gas station. It was decommissioned when they put in some solar panels and solar markers. That was the end of this bit of history. They've kept it looking pretty clear. If you're in Big Woody Island, come and have a look. As you sail past you'll see all of these beaches and you'll go, what was David talking about? Look, there's white sand, there's white sand. If you come ashore, and you should come ashore and have a little bit of a, a play around, it's not like the fine, white, pure Fraser Island sand, it's kind of gritty. Come on up, have a bit of a look around and enjoy a beautiful sunrise. It's time I think for me to head back and have some breakfast and a coffee and then we'll sheet on and head somewhere else. standing in what I believe is the pinnacle of the Great Sandy Straits anchorages. Just this lovely sandbank and it's got this beautiful energy to it. If you're going to be here and coming here for just for the day, my advice would be get out here early and enjoy the calm conditions. But for the tinny, for the small boat, they can just pull up, shore here, anchor and then come here. It's beautiful. I know that there's a couple of the tour boats come here if you want to get on a jet ski. Harvey Bay Eco Marine. They also come out here a little bit as well. So call at either of those people and make a booking and come out. All the whale boats just come racing past here. They come past here to head out to the see the whales and they come racing back past. And I always think all those people on the boats, they miss out on what I think is one of the most beautiful spots. It kicks off the great sandy straits that you can see behind me now. Well, welcome to probably the most popular anchorage there is in the Great Sandy Straits. Certainly there are others that maybe have that claim, but the claim to fame for this one is that it's the closest spot to Harvey Bay. It's really easy for people just to duck out, leave Harvey Bay and come straight over here. Now in summertime when most people are using their boats, it's especially good because it's protected from the predominant northeasterly winds and also you get out of the swell. So what people normally do is they would head into the bay a little bit further and they'll go and spend the day playing on the nice white sand of the clear water and then as the summer nor'easter kicks in and you get a few waves you'll come back and maybe spend the night here. The only thing to remember if you are coming over here from Harvey Bay is just past Pelican Banks there is a pretty shallow sandbank that runs, it's a, like a sliver of sand that runs all the way along. So what you need to do is A, come through in the high tide, but probably the other thing to do is just, I normally, I used to line up between here Moon Point and the top of Big Woody Island. Having come through here today, 
what I've noticed is that that channel has actually moved a little bit further north so don't take my word as gospel but just as an idea you'll see that it's through there and speaking of Harvey Bay 14 kilometers of lovely white sand which is perfect protection from the south and one of the other great things is that you can go and order a coffee there's plenty of places right on the water without any roads in between I'm gonna have a latte on soy milk if that's okay sure thing in a large in a large that'd be great sounds good so there we go coffee ordered we can go and sit out the front now So this is what I mean, you can sit here out the front, nothing but sand and water looking over us. Some way to be able to get off the boat, you're only coming in and uh, dinking onto sand. So despite the fact that the tide will come a long way in and out, it's only sand so it's pretty easy access. I've got your coffee here. Perfect, thank you very much. Of course, enjoy. <laughs> so as I mentioned, Harvey Bay waterfront runs for 14 kilometers it starts off in the south by Yurangan and that's where the harbour is one thing to remember is that you cannot access the waterfront from directly from Yurangan harbour there's a big sandbank that runs pretty much the whole stretch from the big Yurangan pier all the way up to Point Vernon in the north so it runs a fair way there are a couple of entrances once you get closer in to Point Vernon and they're not marked they're not there's no channel markers or anything so check on your chart plotter and you'll certainly find them and once you get in then if you're in a catamaran or a multi-hull or a power boat you're probably okay but for keel boats you really need to stick up closer to the Point Vernon end now it's fairly shallow and even as you come in you're still in sort of around three three and a half meters of water so just be careful as you come in the waterway here is well protected from the south because it's one of the few places that the beach actually runs east-west anything from the north then it's a pretty uncomfortable anchorage if you want to go sailing on a small boat or just on a power boat if you want to go sand paddling or for a kayak then it's ideal and especially around the rocks around Point Vernon it's beautiful and I actually really like paddling up that way so Harvey Bay provides good anchorage in the right conditions there's also plenty to do you can go shopping you can get supplies you can have a coffee there's a skate park here there's a whole lot of activities there's 14 kilometers of relatively flat pathway that you can ride if you want to just go and stretch your legs on a push bike or indeed just walk along it it's a lovely sunset over the Urangan pier which is worth having a little go at just checking it out hope you've enjoyed the show press the subscribe button that'd be awesome like or leave a comment I'd super appreciate it and until next time smooth sailing mm -hmm.